Hey guys, it's Sextacat here. Playing a little bit of RimWorld. It's been a while since I recorded a video about this game. And I've been playing it off and on. But uh, it's an amazing game. It's probably one of the best games that's ever existed. I think it's on the top, top list. It's a deep game. And I'm coming back to this colony that I had. I gotta kind of get bearings of what's going on. I have it on pause right now. These guys are in my workshop, so I know I killed them recently. These mechanoids, they come from the skies. And they pack a punch. The guys are healing right now. Yeah, he's on that. Ambrosia stuff. So this place on this world is kind of um, colder, I guess. Is it cold here? Yeah, it's there's a, only in the summer can you really grow anything. And uh, I recently started this the royal patch or update, which adds a lot of cool things, and I think it balances a lot of cool things, makes it more enjoyable to play. And as you play this longer and longer, there's just so much you can do better. It's just one of those games that has so much depth to it. And you don't necessarily need like thousands of mechanics to be deep. You know, this has quite a number of mechanics. What's really cool about this game is the mechanics are very intuitive. I got this rotting elk caribou in here, in my fridge. So I guess I'll give you a little tour of my base and my characters here. Well, Harriet is my starting um, colonist. You start with absolutely nothing. You just crash land on this place. And uh, I only had her. It, there's different ways to start. You can start with four people. You start with this one rich person. That's what I did. You can start with one naked person, which is tough, but I've been able to do. And there's different difficulties, too. I'm on pretty pretty hard difficulty but I also can reload it's not hardcore mode where you can't reload I've done that um, it's kind of fun to redo battles and make them better because you can redo a battle a couple times and you can suddenly get like a perfect uh, battle basically so Harriet's the top one in the royal um, expansion you, you start to get like magic abilities. I think they're just called psychic abilities. And you can gain ranks with empires. There's so much detail in the ranks. Uh, I mean, there's so many different ranks, too. I'm a Praetor right now. Which is. Is it above Knight? Yeah, it's above Knight Dame. It starts at, starts at Freeholder, Yeo, and then goes to Yeoman, Acolyte. And you get different spells. She meditates to gain, like, psychic energy. This is the meditation chamber. You have to have it to certain um, requirements to be a, for them to be happy with it. What's really cool about this game is you have to keep your villagers happy, or your colonists. And there's so many, they all have unique, like, personalities. For example, Harriet, like me, is a night owl. So if she's awake during the day, she'll get a, like a mood debuff. Her mood number will go down. When their mood goes below different thresholds, they'll have risks of having breaks. And breaks is kind of, they like lose their minds. And really bad breaks, like you can, they can like start killing your own colonists and stuff. So you want to keep them happy. She's got a lot of positive, all, all this green mood stuff. It means her mood's, her mood's maxed out, which is actually kind of crazy. All these various things. Defeated a mech cluster. An extremely impressive throne room. If it was even more impressive, it would give me more. And she's night all night, which is the most mood boost right here. And when they're maxed out of mood, they get little temporary buffs. Right now, she has expired, inspired creativity. But she doesn't do any art stuff this is like your bread and butter in this game is your numbers on this little graph of what they're supposed to do 
when what priority and who to do because everybody has different skill sets experience different things and they get better so if it, there's like a fire that means they're more apt to learn that stuff if they learn it faster and they start with certain stats so Harriet is OP shoot I will never let her die um, Joshua's pretty cool um, so basically to get n more people from Harriet I had to like capture people or there's different events like if I help out people then they'll join me too so an event happened psychic drone it just decreases the mood of everybody it's supposed to affect these guys are heard they were in the battle make sure their needs are met Jigglypuff has a prosthetic leg Let's see Jigglypuff good at constructing good at melee so I have them have a thrumbo horn which is a, like a crazy furry big beast killed one Trevor yeah so he's just good at melee he's not that great well he's good social but I'm only using Harriet for social so she gets better at it she also has like psychic effects where she makes she influences people or something like that I forgot what that is exactly that guy has some pretty sweet weapons charge rifle charge lance is the long range kind of super high tech gun oh these are some dead bodies they're rotting that caribou get out of my fridge no you're drinking a beer right now different drugs give you different um, effects usually just a mood boost but you can get addicted and then if you're addicted and as you use more you get it, you have like a tolerance so it affects you better you need more to have the same effect kind of thing so there's like a constant constant uh, benefit you have to consider Gen generally I provide a lot of different kinds this is like supposed to be like Adderall. It's called Wake Up. I guess like T is is basically from this plant. It's this plant psychoid. You can make this tea, which is really good. It boosts their mood really well. So I have to grow indoors because it's cold most of the year. So these are my little indoor gardens. Got psychic, smoke leaf, corn. Corn it gives you the best. Um, it takes the longest, but it makes gives you the most volume of food. A little bit of cotton, but mostly corn here. I go through a lot of food. Got to feed a lot of people. So I have people just constantly cooking and gathering and taking care of these things. That's kind of their like little priorities list. Somebody fell down. They're fine. They'll just gain their consciousness back up. So different things affect things like consciousness and when your consciousness is pretty low you'll pass out like I think 50% yeah this fridge has little air conditioners these are solar panels for electricity if I click on the wire and build more you can see all the, the network wires it's not too complex I got these generators these are wood generators these are chem fuel I have a I have an ibex <laughs> this is all the food for ibex that's way too much kibble is there I think I need to mess with the kibble that we're making here 900 I have 900 kibble I suspended it oh my god that's insane this is gonna rot out here is does it rot does it never rot? Six points a day. None of these kibble have lower HP. Like they haven't been used. Or they don't decay. Damn, that's so much kibble. Kibble, you combine a protein and a plant to make kibble. To make simple meals is just of one kind of protein, or one kind of 
ingredient. There's vegetarian ingredients and then meat ingredients. They're basically pretty much equal. You can make fine meals. So fine meals is a protein and a vegetable. It gives them a mood boost when they eat a fine meal. You can make lavish meals, but lavish meals aren't that efficient. Sorry. The sound was very realistic sounding. Hearing. There's another tomb. Oh god. I'm about to break. So their mood is really low, so I have to do something. <clears throat> We're going to administer. Oh, she's a Tito Taylor. T T <laughs> I don't know how that word. I've never I never Tito I looked how to say it the other day. I don't remember how to say it. They don't like to take any kind of beer or anything. They're, they're straight edge, is what you would call it. Straight edge people, you can't, I could make, I could force her, but she'd be unhappy. So it, it just totally diminished the whole r reason to give her a mood boost. So usually I micromanage a lot, but I'm just kind of like ambiently checking everything out. Storehouse of a bunch of stuff. Oh, I'm actually kind of low on protein. On meat. Meat. I have a bunch of animals. Put the target on them. I think usually Lisa hunts. Yeah, she's hunting right now. She's a really good shot. 16, level 16. I think the max level is level 20. Oh, this is not being sewn. Oh my god. Are none of these being sewn? Yeah, it's being sewn. Everybody gets their bedroom. Oh, I guess a prisoner. I didn't realize it. Um, she's not on recruit. She's no resistance. They recruit right away. Wait, who is this? Is this somebody who had a departing on? No, 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 no! Don't recruit her. Don't recruit her. Oh, I have a mission with her. Oh my gosh. She's a disease that we've been treating. Did I heal it? No. Can be tended in six hours, which is pretty soon. Oh, it's at the minimum. Been treating her really well. She's, I'm, she's probably taking all my medicine. Where is my medicine? In the hospital? I don't have any medicine. Oh, I just had the Glitter World medicine, the really good stuff that you start out with. When I first started using this game, I didn't pay attention to medicines. You want to save them for very particular things. Like if they have a life-threatening disease and you want to use better medicine. And make sure you use the best doctor you have. And you should make the rooms clean have better chances. It's another prisoner. His name is Elephant. He's got 18 resistance remaining. Elephant. <laughs> so slowly, somebody comes in and like persuades them and he reduces re resistance, his resistance number. I think one is like decent to go down each time you talk and then you can only talk to them every like 24 hours or something but that's in in game time Pope cough doesn't fight decent doctor decent research see so which one I am what am I even researching mortars I just have a few people that are out of commission so the whole base isn't really running it f like full full power ahead. Gotta make sure my battery's always good. Right now it's negative 
because the solar panels usually the batteries can handle a bit of discharge three tattered apparels they don't like it if their gear it wears out over time okay he needs some pants also some pants and a toque two pants and a toque apparently somebody doesn't have enough priority to make that or I don't have the material yeah to make those warm hats you need like cloth or soft materials you can't use the leathers that you get from killing animals and stuff but maybe there's an animal that I could kill that has that kind of fur doesn't look like it I should kill the foxes have I been keeping my fox fur? yeah 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 kill that fox I used to try to keep all the animals But yeah, it's, it takes a lot of your work of your your colonists. Okay, the batteries discharging. Only negative a thousand. Not too bad. Cause these sunlight lamps take a lot of power. It's like you use twenty nine hundred, which is a lot. That's like three of these generators. They each do a thousand. Solar generators put out pretty hefty doesn't say when it's daylight so here's him resist reducing his resistance he's got less than less than one not be convincing. Social seven, it's not too bad. I'm worried about my batteries. So things that are taking battery now. See outdoors it's sixty three degrees, so the heaters are all on low probably. But they are still using power. I kinda had it set up where in the daytime I could fully charge or charge the batteries enough that in the daytime it's okay. And these sun lamps take a lot of power, so. But they only need the daytime when I get when I actually get power, so. And these generators are kind of back up. They're they're not full of wood right now. How much wood do I have? Fifty one wood. That's not very much. To put out an order to cut some trees out here. There we go. Now to do it. So when does Louie's mission end? In two days. Okay. Break is on a cleaning mode. Is she good at cooking? I mean crafting? Pretty good. Marina is on a so her mood is too low so she's had a break and her break is food binge it's not that threatening I still only back up meat I have a decent amount of meals why are we taking and rotting why is it, is it not cold in there it's not getting cold enough what is this set to Oh, this is open. Oh my god, my food is rotting because my fridge wasn't set up right. Oh no. There's a, I had a vent open. Oh my god. They're about to break. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Maybe you just give them drugs, but she doesn't take drugs. slept on the ground because these aren't real beds I had to make a makeshift hospital 
Well, I should probably just have them in their beds because they're not getting much better in, in crappy conditions. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I had some chocolate. Should eat chocolate. Chocolate's like a a drug that's not a drug. So I probably could use a trade. I wish trade people came more often. I think I probably should make a caravan. The thing is, you always need, like, backup food or travel food. Do I even have... Oh, I have packaged survival meals. Can, does nobody know how to make them? What? <laughs> I have to see the cook skill. Their cook is 10. I think it's 8 you need for packed survival mail. Need a little room to breathe. It's one step closer and I'm about to breathe. You need cooking of 8. I think Harry's the only one who can cook packed survival meals. Bell's cooking. What's her cook skill? Four. Oh no, she's making psychic tea. Hey, I have to have Harriet cook. So yeah, some things that I'm restricted in this biome or where I've selected. Well, there's plenty of animals. There's plenty of wood. It gets kind of cold in this area, but it doesn't have a lot of like steel. It doesn't have a lot of the and stone. Not a lot of stone. And thusly, there, I can't I have like no gold. I wonder what taking these apart will yield. I think people are just injured when you open these. Or do they fight you? I don't remember. I think either or. I think it depends. Oh, go juice. Oh, bi coated. Don't take this. Get that go juice, though. We don't need these weapons either. Forget about them. Components? We need that. I don't allow rotting things in here, right? No. She's snorting, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna zip on now. And her speed is like even higher. It's 115 percent. Mood enhanced. Moving is enhanced. Just a quick little line of that stuff. Gets you going real quick. I guess her mood is really low because she's taking a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't think you need the ganja when you're already on hyped up from blood. Oh, this game is awesome. <laughs> oh, the vents closed now. So now it's below freezing. Oh, I wasn't paying attention before that it wasn't cold enough. She's still pigging out. Well, that's a little bit of my colony and how it's functioning right now. Nothing too dramatic happened, but give you a little sampling of what it's like in the new expansion. There's so much to see in this game, it really is kind of almost infinite. So we'll catch you at la later next time.